Good morning, it's Gloria here with um, a project for us. Today we're going to use some of our playing cards and flash cards. We're going to do the little bit of lace challenge uh, using some vintage book page and then some small little like uh, butterflies or bug uh, um, images as well. So I have my playing cards here. I have my flash cards here. So I thought we could make a few little uh, things out of this. So let's just make some room. So I saw on Kathy Muller's channel, she um, had took, has taken, excuse me, some book page and she had covered her greeting cards with them. Oh, sorry, her playing cards with them. Um, <clears throat> and she made some cute, really cute specimen cards. And what's nice about it is the card is already made for you. Um, so she basically just took a book page and I will link her channel down below and also the little bit of lace challenge I will link down below as well. That one is Corey Dahman's uh, challenge. So I'm just going to make myself a little bit of room. So she took a greeting card. Now I'm going to use art glitter glue just because uh, the card is shiny and I don't know if my glue stick will hold it. I hope everyone is well. It's snowing here today. Um, not a bad thing. Kind of nice to see the snow again. We had green grass up here, which I think is a little bit um, unheard of for uh, the north of Ontario. So. so she just took her card, glued up both sides, super quick and simple, laid it on her paper, and then just folded it over to cover the card. And then she just took her scissors and trimmed around the card. I'm just gonna kind of fold around so I can see where I should cut. There. And then she took her corner rounder. I don't want a very big. Oh, see, that's where you gotta be careful. I might let the glue dry a little bit first. So let's do the other one. We have some scraps here. So let's grab another one of the same paper and do the exact same thing. So you could do this like as a mass make style as well. Um, cover all your cards um, and then go through the various steps of assembling a little specimen uh, card holder. I saw her do this and I thought, well, that is so smart. What a cute little, what a good way to use greeting card for, uh, why do I keep saying greeting cards? My goodness. What a good way to use playing cards. And these are not vintage. I, I don't know where I got this one. I don't like the image on the card. Um, it was in my stash, so I thought, well, I'm going to cover them up and use them. Okay, so she takes two. Um... Let's do one to start to kind of show. Now I kind of want to, I'm using my one inch punch for this. So I'm going to line it up here. That's what she did. And then she just kind of tried to center it a little bit. So you have the card even on both sides as best as possible. And punch. look how cute that is so some she put a piece of acetate some she put a piece of alum and some she didn't put anything she just um, put her little butterfly and then layered it on top and decorated it up with some stamps so that is what we're gonna do but let's cover um, I'm gonna cover a few more cards and then I will be back and we'll do the decorating kind of like mass make style 
Okay, so I'm back. So I made a few others with the small cards. I used some vintage music paper, um, light, layered them both, punched out a circle. So that will go like that. I used this book page, um, did the same thing. Uh, this one as well. And this one as well. So like I said, when you're use, doing this, the easiest way to do it is just put glue, put it down, fold it over, put glue, fold it over, and then cut it out. And then there's absolutely no measuring or anything. So I used a couple flashcards, so I'm gonna use a bigger punch. And it doesn't bother me that that shows through, um, actually. So I'm gonna use a bigger punch for this one because then I can use maybe a bit bigger of a butterfly. And I like this because this is blank here, I could stamp. And like I said, keep all your circles because you can use them. You could layer them up and ink them. And you can make like a, even a, a cool kind of corner tuck in your journal as well. So we'll put those aside. So there we go. So now we'll go on to um, finding an image we would like to put in the circle. Now when she did them, she put acetate behind some. Some she did not. Uh, some she just left the circle and it looked really good too. Uh, some she, um, Catherine put, uh, Kathy put vellum and you could, it was more of a, like a little bit of a cloudier effect. See how nice that looks when you ink it? It kind of really defines the, the circle. So sorry for inking on camera. I was going to do it off and then I kind of forgot. So I'll kind of speed this part up. For you guys so you don't have to watch me ink. Okay, so the whole point I just want to mention again for the playing cards is because you don't have to measure. You have a playing card, you fold it on your uh, whatever kind of book page you would like to use or decorative paper to make specimen cards. So um, if you were using cardstock, you could even use like some of the Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper um, like the bug one or uh, the butterfly one and, and cover cardstock that way as well. And that would be super cute. But I am using greeting cards so it's quicker so see how this one I can put a bigger butterfly in there and I really like that so let's find some of the smaller ones some of these are printed some of these are purchased see that one is a little that one's tight but that's okay you could even use a die cut butterfly if you wanted um, So these are the ones that are, I think I got those at the dollar store. I'm not even going to lie with the gold foil in them. I'm not a fan of that, but I don't mind them. And then that one will go there. Super cute, eh? And you can put a little label. You can do some stamping here. Uh, so we'll glue those down, kind of line them up. I'll do uh, a couple on camera. Maybe I'll do one of the bigger ones and... Uh, the smaller one and the rest I'll do off camera and then we'll come back and we will do our little bit of lace part of the challenge so we'll do these two little monarch butterflies here uh, maybe I'll just speed it up <music> So I have a little piece of acetate here that I want to use on one of them. I kind of like it when they're just open, um, but 
but I wanted to do one with the acetate. So you can kind of see, and then if you sewed around this, it would be so cute. Um, I'm not gonna sew around this one, but if you put the acetate in, I think, and then sewed around it and around the card and then put it together, I think that would look really sweet. Or actually just do the sewing around here so then it wouldn't come through to the back of your uh, specimen card. Now you could also put blank paper on the back of the specimen card uh, so you could journal on the back of it. But today I'm just using a book page. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of acetate, a little bit smaller than my circle. And like I said, I'm not doing any measuring on this. Like to me, I love this idea for it being a quick piece of ephemera. You're, you're filling your journal um, and you want a quick piece of ephemera. So I'm just gonna glue around the edges with my art glitter glue and then around the circle as well. And I'm just gonna put acetate on this bigger one here. So we have one that we've done with the acetate. Now this acetate has been in that uh, little bin of mine over there. So it's not maybe the cleanest piece of acetate in the world. Yeah, I got glue on it, that's great. But that's okay, that'll be on the front. So then you would just glue this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm loving it. Actually, I do really like the acetate. Uh, it's, it's really cool. So we're gonna just glue around our card then, put them together. And because they're cards, they're exactly the same size, so it should be a little bit easier to line them up. Try not to get too close to the circle, though, so your glue doesn't seep uh, into your um, window. So just kind of line them up like that. And then if any of the paper is sticking out, you can just come in with your scissors and trim around. Isn't that cute? Now, you don't have to sew around the, the circle if you um, don't want to. You could just sew around the edge of the card as well, which I think I may throw some of these in my sewing pile. And then I would ink up the back. Oh, see, I have a little bit showing there, but that is okay. So we're gonna finish decorating this one. Oh, and let's put this one together too. So this one I'm just gonna glue on. I am not going to put any acetate, or should I? Where'd that little piece go? That's not big enough, so we'll just glue this one on. And you just got a four sides press down. See, that is super cute too. So there's one with the acetate and there is one without. So for me, for the little bit of lace for this challenge, um, I just think a little piece of lace would look so cute like across the top so you could pull it out as a tab. So instead of using the lace I've pulled out, let's just go into my scrap bin because that is kind of the whole point of the little bits of lace, right? So let's see what we can find. Oh, isn't this pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty? But I'm saving that for maybe a journal cover so we won't use that piece. Um, I have this lace. Now I don't like, it's really white, so I don't want to use that. I have some of this cream lace, so maybe if I cut a piece of that, how big is this? Now I don't want to cover, I want it across, I want it as a tab. So I'm going to cut a piece of this for the big one. And I think what I might do is staple it. I might staple that on just like that with my rusty staples if I can get it in there without making a mess. Me and this stapler don't always see eye to eye. It has a, a very short reach so okay let me get this folded. There we go. Maybe if I put it down. Sorry guys. <laughs> A little bit of lace is what's taken the longest. There. And I'm just going to put two staples. Oh, I, I really like that. And I'm going to get out some stamps and I think I might I'll put a label or a stamp. So I'm going to put the little, the same, actually I might put a little piece of crocheted lace if there's some in my big scrappy bin here. Oh, there is. So 
So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it front and back. I hope you can see. Yeah, so I think for this, this will be my little bits of lace for this week's challenge, just using them as little tabs on a specimen card. Now, I didn't get the whole thing on there, so I could always put another one. It doesn't matter. Oh, that one didn't even want to go in. So that one's going into garbage. <laughs> well, that one's on there. Oh, no, I missed the back. So we'll put one through from the back. How's that? I should put my rusty staples in a bigger stapler. There, there, love that. And I might take a little piece of this lace too and put it across the bottom like that. I really like that. Let's see if my glitter glue is gonna work because I left it open. Super cute. So now you could stamp a little number or something and you could always even put a little bit of uh, coffee dyed paper there so you could um, journal on the back but there's an example of one with the acetate and without the acetate and they both have a little bit of lace so I'm gonna go off camera now and finish decorating them all and I'll be back with some photos thanks for watching so today so go check mm -hmm. out Kathy Mower I'll put her um, video link down below and also Corey Dahman her little bits of lace 2024 challenge and I will put her link down below as well and I'll be back with some photos at the end thanks so much for watching today guys have a great day bye <music>